What's up guys, it's your favorite Kiwi coach. Give me six months of your time and I'll give you the best golf swing of your life. Whoa. So welcome back to the channel guys. In this particular video, we have the one, the only, the infamous, Hiro-san. Welcome back to lesson number two. Say hello to the audience. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mike. Uh, I'm Hiro. 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 Good, 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 good. Let's take a look. All right, this will look quite good here. All right, so here's P2. So here, see that little shift? Yeah. Shoulder height starting to shift forward. And then now we're really starting to open up and churn. That, was, that looks really good. Yeah, so it's a pretty good sequence here. So it looks a little bit more constant mm -hmm. and less like backswing, stop, downswing, go. Mm -hmm. nice. nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, yeah. One thing that I do recognize is let's start, let's say, can you stop at a P2? Oh, P2? At yeah. P2. My P2, when this, when, I think my little trigger move that I have is I move off the ball probably around, I think I move off like just across this little line. I go off, uh, I get really slide a little bit. Not, you can't see this, you can't see that in this video, but on course or when I try to go on full speed. Yeah. Things, I think def I definitely go off the ball. Yeah. And try to recenter. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we could look at that. So that would be a completely. So basically, this gets into the point where we're. You got to be careful for viewers at home first off, mm -hmm. right? Because you're starting. To, we could start <laughs> to add on a lot of projects. But um, I think in terms of hero, that could be something. Since we're in a lesson, we could definitely take note and look at. Mm -hmm. So why don't you go ahead and try to do a full swing? And we'll check the back swing to see if it's like really actually doing what you say, moving off the ball too much. If it's not moving off too much, then we don't even need to worry about it. Mm -hmm. And then all we have to do is just continue to focus in on this um, motion that we were just talking about. Yeah. But like you said, if you do move too far off the ball, so the sternum starts to get past the right shoe, like you said, it'll be difficult to hit the ball. We're gonna have to have a massive reshift back mm -hmm to do that. So that would be something that we'd want to get rid of. Yeah. Now in the past, I haven't really seen that to be too big of an issue, but we'll see. <laughs> so just do a normal swing. Don't even think. Mm -hmm. just, just, just normal. Just swing. try to have good rhythm. That's it. Okay. So I'll show you guys how I check lateral shift. So. All I typically do is from the face on view, I just like to draw a little line on the sternum. And then uh, once we get the line on the sternum at address, I kind of see how much it's moved off as we move back towards the top. And I don't think yours is so crazy. So kind of here's your sternum right around here. All right, here's your hip by the way too. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. No, that's quite normal. Now, the only thing I would say in terms of movement, it's more of a hip slide than it is an upper body slide. Mm -hmm. So your upper body sternum has shifted this much. Yeah. That's like very, very common. So the sternum relative to the right hip, most people with iron are right in the middle mm -hmm. of those two lines. Some people hang a little bit more towards the original starting point. Some people a little bit more back towards that, but that's okay zone. If you start to see your sternum behind, which is very rare, but if it is, that's that's a upper body slide. Mm. Very rare, do we see that? We more often see people almost on the other side. So reverse pivot. But you're, you're right in the middle, you're perfect. Now in terms of this, that's a little bit worrisome. It could just be a one-off swing. Yeah. But definitely there's a little bit of a hip slide in there. Mm -hmm. And specifically kind of a 
hip slide with a little bit of knee yeah. external rotation. So it's almost kind of like. So all you'd have to do quite simply is if you had like a, all right, that's it for you guys on YouTube. But before you guys click off, Hero, keep their attention and let's give them some wrap up points. Oh, Mike, thank you so much. Uh, えっと、ローテーションの試験数だったりだとか、フォロースルーに関するいろいろなことを勉強させてもらいました。また、コースで、え、いろいろ試してみて、え、自分の中での学びだったり、を具体的に、なんですか、スイングの中に取り組めたら